Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm doing my what sold video for last week Monday through Thursday which is September 11th through the 14th and at that point my sales have been still doing pretty good. I think of the four days I only had one day that was a little bit below what I like to be making on my daily goals but I had some really good sales in there so it really helped overall for the week. Then I had a good sale on Mercari, I think. Mercari. So I had sales on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. But of course, if you're new to my channel, all of my listings and most of my sales do come from eBay. I've been doing this for 24 years. I have 11,000 listings right now. Um, and I don't have that many cross-listed. I do use List Perfectly to cross-list from eBay to Poshmark and Mercari. I was doing Etsy, but I think I'm giving up on them, and we're just going to have to see how this these three go. And then, of course, I have just recently started Whatnot, which I really am enjoying. Um, in fact, we went to the Asheville Bins, the Goodwill Bins, the Goodwill Outlet yesterday. In the past, the last probably year or two, if not longer, every time I've gone there, it's just been kind of blah. Blah. So we haven't really gone that often, um, but yesterday was, I did really good. I think I got like two heaping grocery carts full and a lot of it was vintage plush and we're just going to keep plodding along. I'm going to do this. I have a show this Saturday. So if you've not signed up for whatnot, Robert will have a link down in the description of this video for you to go over and sign up. I am in a bonus pilot program right now. And if you sign up using my code, you could win um, $10, $20, $50, or $200 um, to spend however you like on whatnot. Um, so if you're even a little bit intrigued, go ahead and go sign up. My show is going to be Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And then I'm going to do another show next Saturday. And then we are going to go to uh, on vacation, kind of, sort of. I, there's never a vacation where I'm not sourcing. So we are going back to Missouri. We'll be going to the St. Louis Bins, probably three or four days. Fill up a trailer again. I'm just, I'm looking forward to this, this new adventure with whatnot. So there you go. All right, let's get into what sold for me last week. First, I had two sales on Mercari. This first one is an item that's been listed for quite a while, so I'm so glad that it finally sold. This is a Bendables Mouse Figure Plush Ornament from 1984. Kurt Adler sold for $7. Little 5-inch plush. And then look at this. Look at this. On eBay, you can sort your active listings by highest dollar. So that's what I've been doing. I went in, I sorted by highest dollar, and then I've been cross-listing a lot of it to Poshmark and Mercari, if it's appropriate. And I'm starting to make these big dollar sales on both of the platforms. This was a Douglas Cuddle Toy Husky Dog Plush sold on Mercari for $80. Then on Poshmark, I had these this... Chinese Laundry Women's Jeans sold for $16. And this Play School My Soft First Doll sold for $40. Don't be afraid to put plush and toys on Poshmark. Um, they, they tend to do very well for me over there also. But I have all of my clothes. Okay, 99% of my clothes and shoes are cross-listed to Poshmark only. I haven't really been doing... Um, Mercari with clothes. And then a lot of my lower dollar stuff that's too low to put on Poshmark, I tend to put on Mercari. But a lot of my high dollar stuff's on every, everywhere. All right, eBay. Lots and lots of bread and butter, but a good sell to share also. This is Scentsy Buddy Blue Terra Triceratops Plush. It, it ha did have one of the scent packs sold for $16.16. Y'all, this was in my pile. I call them my one-touch, right? 
you know, I'll be going through a whole bunch of stuff and I set some stuff aside that I'm just not ready to deal with. I'm more excited to get other stuff listed. You know how that is? You know, your, your, your others. Well, it sat in my pile for a while. And the other day I decided I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with that pile because it's getting in my way. So I listed a whole bunch of smalls. I talked about it in another video. Like one day I did like 66 listings. I'm, I'm pretty sure he was part of that. Um, it's sold very, very quickly. This is a little Caesars plush hanging toy sold for $8.96. Dakin Timothy Turkey from 1984 sold for $15.95. I shared in a recent haul, I picked up, I showed you guys two flats flat boxes full of this chalkware or these ceramic wall hanging stuff. Um, but I still have three more out there in the building that I have not processed yet. So I need to get that worked on. I've got so much to work on. So much. But this is chalkware anthropomorphic banana wall plaque. It did have a lot of paintware. Um, it was one of the first items that sold from those two lots. This sold for $12. Hug Fun Lion Plush it says smooches on a heart sold for $12.11. Now, if you're new to my channel, I do not do free shipping. So when I say this sold for $12.11, the buyer also paid additional for shipping. Bygos, Bygos Essential Women's Jeans, sold for $14. 31 Gray Bear Blanket Plush, sold for $10.45. Fiesta White Bear Plush, 9 inch, has the little NASA logo on its outfit, sold for $16.12. I think that might have been in one of the bags that I brought back from Connecticut, um, from the red, white, and blue um, store that I went to up there. This is Blankets and Beyond Blue Birds and Dots Baby Blanket Set, um, sold for $16.12. A lot of these I was picking up at consignment sales. I haven't gone to consignment sales for the last two years. I just can't seem to fit it into my schedule. Um, most of them are not in my town. You know, some of them are up to an hour drive, if not further. And I just haven't. But they are a good opportunity to source a lot of stuff in one place. Um, a lot of times the baby blanket sets like this were like 2 and $3. So I used to pick them up a lot, but I just have not been going. All right. Homer Laughlin Republic Jean USA dish set. I want to say bought these earlier in the summer um i don't think i paid very much for them maybe like ten dollars maybe twenty dollars because it was a larger lot um a lot of the dish sets i do um list individually so if somebody has broke a piece or wants to add to their current um set they can just buy however many they want this person bought two of the six and a half inch plates and two of the saucers paid a total of $27.22. Garanimals Blue Dog Plush Puppy with the Brown ear Ears. It is one of the ones that I tend to do the higher dollar sales on. This one sold for $22.45. I think upstairs right now I've got two that are having spa days. I think it's a, a lamb and a cow, but I think mostly those are going to be bread and butter. Now this is Little Tyke's dollhouse figures. These two went to the Grand Mansion. Um, I had the mother listed for a while. She does have significant paint wear. And then recently I found the little girl. So I just ended the listing for the mom, added the little girl, bumped the price up a little bit, and it sold probably in less than a month for $9.86. Russ Tabby Cat 8-inch striped Cat sold for $17.95. Very cute. Kind of like it's all 
curled up in a ball. This was an old listing. Glad it's gone. I mean, I have a lot of sales that do happen, but you know, a month, less than a month, a month, maybe a couple of months after I list them, but the, sometimes they just stick around for a while. So right now I'm being very proactive and lowering the prices probably every three or four months. Um, and hopefully any offer that comes in, that's, that's reasonable. Um, I am accepting them. I got a $7 offer on this Kissing Moose Plush um, from International Silver Company, $7. But it's gone. Now, I grabbed these at an estate sale. I, I want to say it was one of the only things I bought there. And these little, I know the Merry Mushrooms from Sears, the canisters and all of that stuff are highly sought after. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed these, but they did have some discoloration, um, which I always show pictures of and make note of. Um, they were listed a couple of months and sold for $20. Kelly Toy Purple Llama Alpaca Plush. I just tend, I think when I'm doing bulk buys, I end up with a lot of llamas and alpacas. Um, I like this one. It was purple, sold for $7. American Eagle Distressed Women's Jeans. They had a big old tear in them. I told Robert, distressed is when you have those little like abrasions. I think I would have put destroyed on these because it was a significant tear. Got an offer of $10, so I went ahead and accepted it. This is some of the handkerchiefs that sat underneath my table right here forever because I listed, you know, six or seven lots of them and the rest sat. Now, I went ahead and finished all of them, and this is the second set to sell from the, the, the leftovers. Um, these were embroidered handkerchiefs. All of them said Switzerland on them, so I went ahead and lotted them together. They were kind of transparent, um, but these five sold for $17.95. All right, this is... A buyer who purchased three different sets of little people. There's these two vintage. Um, I'm trying to see. Yeah. A lot of these I think I pick up at the Goodwill bins and then I make small lots as they come out of the bags. If it's just a handful, I'll end up putting them together. That's why I end up with these hodgepodge lots. Um, this is a minivan set that, um, Sold for 13, some white beds and other furniture that sold for 11, and then a more contemporary 1997 um, Santa Claus that sold for seven. So the order was total of $31. All right, some more of the ceramic and chalkware stuff that I picked up recently. I think one of the um, one of the boxes was five dollars the other one was 750 and then the last three that I picked up were 10 bucks each but they're have even more in them um these little mermaids I had listed just the two um and got an offer on them and realized when I was finishing listing the rest of the stuff that I had the two bubbles so I did go ahead and end it and added the two little bubbles to it relisted and it sold I think the same day for 22 dollars There's others of them that are listed that like are more ornate. You know, the, 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 the tail has just more, just very, very beautiful. And they sell for a lot. Mine were just kind of plain. This is Ducks Unlimited men's jacket sold for best offer of $20. Trying to list more clothes, but we just tend to get so busy doing other stuff that clothes keep getting put on the back burner, unfortunately. And I have so much to get listed. Now, I, bad buy. I'm just going to say this up front. I bought a bunch of these Barbie DVDs. They were 50 cents at a yard sale. But when I got them home, some of them were in okay condition. But quite a few of them, you could tell a child had been the one that was taking them out and putting them in and taking them out. And there were scratches. So I did 
make note of that and they still sold very quickly you know I paid four dollars because they were 50 cents each still sold for thirteen dollars and 45 cents just be honest in your descriptions it might still sell this is Walmart white rabbit plush I think I just picked up another one recently but it had like designs inside the ear this one sold pretty quickly for nine dollars and 86 cents food processors um, Robert tends to pick these up a lot and then we just base part them out the bases because they're the part that's motorized usually is like the last part to sell um, but this is a Black & Decker shortcut food processor um, sold for $12.07. I'm sure we only paid three or four dollars for the whole thing and then we just sell the parts as replacements. Fisher Price Little People, this was a little doctor and a farmer, sold for seven dollars. L.L. Bean Women's Jeans sold for $15.01. This is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Lisa. This was that Vera Bradley purse that just kind of appeared in our lot of clothes that I bought at a recent estate sale. My favorite little estate sale. I bought all of those high-end clothes, and I think somebody accidentally put this in our basket, and we didn't notice. And a lot of times, you know, the the owners of the estate sale company, you know, they just kind of count it all up and then I just pay them so I didn't even notice that it was in the box still sold very quickly $17.95 this was also from that same sale all the shoes that day were two dollars these were Mark Joseph white loafer moccasins sold for $19.50 I think that sold like within a day or two of listing this is Wrangler men's jeans it did say um, cowboy cut on the tag on the inside, so I think that was pertinent to put in here. I did get a little bit more than I normally get for Wranglers. Um, these sold for $22.21. This was the one of the puzzles I bought at a, I think, at a church sale, maybe. And they were... Um, shrink wrapped. So I thought that they were um new in the box and new in the packaging but for some reason I had to open up I think one of the boxes was damaged and I realized when I opened up I, I bought three or four of them um that the bag inside that box was not sealed and so I opened up all four of them and I, I'm pretty sure only one of them had sealed pieces the rest of them had actually been opened and resealed so be careful when you're buying sealed stuff you know sometimes you might still need to open them um, if there's for some reason you are, you know, just something isn't right about the packaging. Um, so I'm glad I did. We ended up putting it together because we love to do puzzles. And it sold for $8.96. I think I paid $2 for it thinking it was new. So that was a little disappointing. Now this has been listed for a while. I think I probably listed it after Christmas last year and so it, it has sat the whole year but they were porcelain and wood um, Christmas ornaments not ornaments um, figures they, they came in a box so I mean they it was a complete set um, and I just decided to take a $25 offer and make it gone This is from my high bid estate sale that I won two years ago that just, I keep selling stuff still. I still have stuff to list. It's going to be one of, maybe I'll put it on whatnot, all of the littles that I've never gotten to. Um, but this was a Halloween trick or treat pumpkin bucket sold for $10.45. This also was from that same high bid estate sale. These were from Hardee's. I guess they came in the kids' meal. I won like eight of them in a box lot of whatever I purchased. At first, I decided I was going to put all eight of them together. Well, they've sat and sat and sat and didn't sell. So, you know, I'm always rethinking strategies, trying to get stuff moving. So I went ahead and ended that listing and listed all of them separately. I think this might be the second one that has sold. I sold one on Poshmark 
and then I've sold this one um, but it's just Hardee's and it sold for twelve dollars and seven cents Lee not a brand that we will be picking up it's very long tail and very hard to sell but I got an offer of eight dollars on the one this one that was listed so I just accepted it and move on but definitely it they're slow slow sellers for us this was from that um, private pick estate sale that we went to um, a couple of months ago um, this was an embrace is the brand gorilla plush um, 13 inch 1989 sold for $26.95 little live pets I'm pretty sure this was picked up in a bulk sell um, it's not one of the brands that I normally would pick up but they are like the animated make sounds type of stuff and it was in it was in a pile that I didn't want to deal with but I dealt with and sold for eight dollars best offer wasn't listed very long Perry Ellis men's polo shirt $11.89 Wild Republic polar bear from 2015 sold for $8.06 bread and butter y'all bread and butter J Crew women's blazer sold for $29.41 now's the time to be looking for blazers I think they are very trending I have been told and heard from um, Kaylee Elaine's channel that she's all she she talks a lot about women's blazers right now and a lot of them are any brand McDonald's oh, this was from that um, yard sale we went to with the tea and pickers and the whole place was just McDonald's I bought a large bag of these Oliver and Company finger puppets there were just I think these four maybe a few more that were still sealed so this was the complete set I listed them and this set sold for ten dollars I have not listed the rest of them yet um, they needed wiped down and I just haven't had the time to go upstairs and get them all cleaned up before I can get them all listed but it was probably I want to say 12 sets that I need to get listed this was from an estate sale we went to on the last day and they handed you Walmart bags and it was fill a bag for five bucks so I just kind of picked the things that I wanted and then just filled in like a lot of the, the Thanksgiving and Easter decorations just filled in the bags so that I got my five dollars worth right this is a Thanksgiving turkey pilgrim shelf sitter sold for best offer of eight dollars now, I think Robert picked these up at the Highway 127 cell when we went last year. They they were just different. They're called D sticks and they're just building stuff. Here I'll show you a picture. These just rods and these and you build stuff. They weren't in the greatest condition again. I noted that there were some parts that were broken. Sold for $13.41. Harley Davidson men's jeans vest must have been a Robert pickup because I don't remember this um, sold for $44.71 now I picked this up at a recent church sale I picked up a whole box of Christmas ornaments for $10 this is the second one to sell they all had this little star shape up here um, based on my research it's um, Inga glass from Germany all of them did say Germany on the tip um, I decided to list all of them um, separately I've already sold the lemon I don't remember how much lemon shaped one um, but this one was definitely a surprise it was a uh, just this gingerbread house sold for $26.95 I love vintage Christmas but man they are tough to to list now I did I remember picking this up at the red white and blue store thrift store in Connecticut when we went up there for Robert and RJ's black belt test this camera was actually in its packaging but the packaging had like a kid had partially torn it open and then nothing never had taken it out 
I just decided to throw the box away. There was no value in keeping it in the box. Um, and I, I know I paid $1.99 plus whatever tax was up there. And it sold for $15. Best offer. Levi's 560 women's jeans. We find a lot of vintage jeans around here. A lot. These sold for $23. A lot of times we pay a dollar or two or fill a bag. All kinds of opportunities to buy jeans around here. Thai beanie. Well, some of it still sells. I bought a bunch at the bins one time. I've gotten, I've sold most of it in small lots. I still have a little bit of it here. Um, but this was Baby Poseidon Whale Shark from 2001. It's best if they have their paper tags, um, in my opinion, in order just to ha get them sold. This one sold for $8.91. Most of them, y'all, are bread and butter, if that. So, you know, I see lots of people who think that they've got these grand finds because they go on eBay and go in Terapeak and you see something that sold for hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, but they're not real. They're not real. Because if you go in there and look and you see one that sold for $1.14 and another one that says it sold for $8,000, which one do you think is the more likely accurate price? Unfortunately, a lot of people are still falling for that. I do have a video. I'll have Robert put a um, put something in the link to it. Put a link to it in um, the video. But it shows you, and just not beanies. It could be the the videos, the black diamond videos, or anything that you just are not sure about the prices and the comps that you're seeing. There's a couple of ways you can definitely see that um, the sale wasn't legit. And I show you some of those ways in that video. Um, but still, sometimes you just don't know. And it might just be that you need to do an auction. You know, that's the, kind of my solution when I just can't figure out the comps. I picked this up recently at an estate sale. I want to say maybe a dollar but it was a Mary Inglebright greeting card organizer and it still had some of the the cards and stuff inside of it it sold for quickly but it sold for ten dollars some more of that Homer Laughlin Republic Jean plates these somebody I thought it might be the same person but it actually wasn't it was another person who came in and bought the last four of the saucers for a total of $20. Goffa, not a brand I normally pick up. This was probably in a bulk buy, but it had distinguishing things like the blue striped ears. So I went ahead and listed it and it sold for $8.91. Not bad for a Goffa. Cabbage Patch Kids doll, 10 inch, had purple eyes. Just I use all of those types of keywords to try to help somebody find the doll when that's all they know about it. I think this was one of those times when it was better to remove the clothes and sell them separately. So that's what I end up doing a lot of times with these dolls. Um, but this one still sold for decent money. And the last sale was my best sell of the weekend of the week. And I knew it was going to sell quickly. And it is this Sears Roebuck Neil the Frog. Everybody knows about the Merry Mushrooms, but there is a second series that is very, very popular also, and it is Neil the Frog. I found this at a sale that was in a church parking lot um, recently, probably within the last month or so, but my sense of time is skewed. Does it, doesn't that happen to everybody? When you work from home, sometimes I have to look at my watch just to tell me what day of the week it is. Um, but you know, I bought some shoes there and some vintage Christmas stuff and a couple of toys and this clock. And I knew it was special when I found it. It was also really exciting when I found out it worked also. Um, but it did have some condition issues, which again, I noted. But I took a best offer of $165 for it. So I was thrilled. I only had a couple dollars in it at most. All right, y'all. For some reason, my throat 
is already gravelly. I was going to hope to make another video today. We're going to have to start getting some extra videos done so that while we're on vacation, we can just already have them pre-done and pre-scheduled for you guys. Um, but I'm looking forward to a little break. Some sourcing. Hopefully, I'm going to be running into um, Rhonda at Got Junk in Your Trunk. We're trying to iron out some details so that maybe we can get together also while we're on this trip. So it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. But for now, get to work. Bye.